And it doesn't take a rocket science. I could have told you this in 2012. Streaming is the future of, it's not that you're not going to go to the box office because I mean, I love the experience. You yeah, know, we're, we're still going to move physical movies, sure. but let's face it. Most of the stuff we watch is streamed on TV or on our mobile or whatever. For sure. For sure. And so when Black Widow came out, it was their excuse not to pay her what she should have been paid on right. the film compares yes. to every <clears throat> other Marvel. Mm -hmm. And you cannot tell me that Marvel didn't make more off that streaming, the initial streaming of Black Widow than they would have in the theater. You, you, you may be right, but how would you think that they made their money out of Black Widow streaming it? Are you talking about subscription? People had to pay VOD? like $30, 40 right. for Oh, good grief. Then yes. Yeah, I yeah. agree with you. Yes. They yeah. had to pay. Yeah. And that was all the new releases that came out during the pandemic. Yes. And even today, if you go to Cineplex, if you go to mm -hmm. Amazon mm -hmm. and you want to stream one of the movies that just came out of the theater, mm. It no longer costs you six ninety five or seven ninety five. No, it costs you upwards of forty dollars, and sometimes more, depending on the popularity mm. of the film, to stream that movie. Imagine if you got to the theater, and you said two tickets, and they said sixty dollars. You're going 60, to say you're going to walk out. So uh, the whole argument about the the rise of streaming, and bums on seats, as it were. Is predicated upon the fact that, well, it's cheaper than going to the cinema. Yeah. But in many cases, it's not. No. Like Even you said. Even if you add in the popcorn. 